everyone. Welcome once again to the Uplifting Hub. My name is Tahofa Atzocheo Mbuyamba. I'd like to thank those who are returning. Thank you so much. To my new subscribers, welcome to the family. Please do not forget to subscribe, to like, and to comment. Today, we're having a story time. I'm going to talk about how I changed my legal name in 2009. Yes, you had that right. In 2009, while I was going through my healing and deliverance process, um, I spoke about my testimony in a lengthy um, conversation on the Zen Twins channel, which I'll link it in the description box. Um, how I got delivered me from the spirit of death, but that was not the only thing that happened. So in 2009, I actually changed my legal name. <laughs> that my parents gave me and how that happened um, it was that I remember during the days of um, what well, in my previous church when I used to go for intercession and the head of intercession used to ask me what is your name and I would say my name is the Java lady and he's like you need to change your name <laughs> I don't know but there's just something telling me that you need to change your name um, obviously at that particular moment I was you know going through so much and I was in desperate need of the move of God of the hand of God upon my life so I did give it some thought I thought about it I prayed about it and I told my mom and I said I'm going to change my name so before we get to the story let me tell you what my name Sijama Lady means. I'm laughing because I feel that those who knew me with the name and associate me with my name now, such a transformation that has taken place. Because when I was Sijama Lady, I was not really from committed to the Lord. But then Tsehofato is fully fledged, um, submitted to the will of God, to the promises of God. Sejava so Lady was um, a woman of God, but yet not fully committed. I was born again, but not committed. You know, I think I was just, I knew there was Jesus. I knew there was God, but I hadn't had an encounter with God. So uh, Sejava so Lady, actually, my, uh, my mother gave me this name because the story is that I was born two weeks just after my grandfather had passed away. So Sejava Lady, it's a sipedi, Kilinala sipedi. Like, Many people know when um, you are named Sijava Lady or you were born um, surrounding um, near a death um, season or the you know after um, you know a, a death in the family. So it, it just means Ujileva Lady, like you literally in English direct translation, the eater of parents. So you know I I don't really want to say that um, you know I don't really blame my mom for giving me the name. I believe she wanted a significance because she was very close with my grandfather. So she wanted something to remind her of what had transpired. But when we look at biblical, you know, um, terms and biblical, you know, um, references, God says in the book of, um, you know, uh, Proverbs 22 verse 1, that a good name is to be chosen rather than great riches loving favor rather than silver and gold so you know god is saying that a good name is worth more than even riches so when i started growing in the lord and in prayer um I, and also because when you get an instruction from god i think it's important to pray through your our man of god it's important to pray and hear what god is saying so when i begin to pray about that my name change the spirit of god also aligned and said yes it is time for you to change your name to a name that i will give you you know, when it comes to names, the important fact about names, why it's important to know the name and the meaning of your name is that when people call you, they prophesy you. So the more they call me Sijava Lady, it means the one who ate parents, you know, and it's not really a, a name that I think I wanted to be identified with for the rest of my life. You know, um, however, when we call your name with prophesy, when they call me Tsehofato, indeed I become a blessing. When they call you precious, you become precious. So names are very prophetic. Each and every time we call you by your name, we prophesy something beautiful, something powerful. You know, I come from a, a community, a place where people are often called, you know, matlakala, which means dirty. And in most cases, when you see um, matlakala, their life 
in some way or another they reflect the name so it's important to you know um, understand what does your name mean if you don't meaning of your name i would urge you to you know in a very respectful way ask your parents and pray about it if you desire to change your name some people are finding themselves bound uh, in covenants that have to relate to their name one cannot talk about um, the change of names without talking about the story of jacob we all know that in the book of genesis 27 we hear of the story of how um, Isaac, their father, Jacob, and Esau's father was about to die. And he had asked Esau that um, he needs to prepare a meal for him. And he will proclaim the, his, the blessings of God upon his life before he dies. But now we learn the story that um, their mother actually helped um, Jacob to steal, to disguise you know, himself as Esau so that he can steal his, his, his elderly brother's blessings. You know, and now when one mentions the name Jacob, we know that Jacob is, a, is being identified with a fifth one who steals blessings. That is not a good name. Now, fast to fast track in the book of Genesis 32. Now, a new chapter for Jacob begins. We learn that in, in, in Genesis 32 verse 24, that Jacob was left alone. Then he wrestled with a man until the break of day just to paraphrase jacob wrestled with the angel of god and he said to the angel i will not let you go until you bless me you know and eventually the angel blessed jacob but that was not it the angel said now i need to change your name significance of a name you cannot be a blessed man who is identified with the name that speaks of stealing that the meaning of jacob cannot go into his next chapter so then the angel of god said your name is going to to be the prince of God and now that was a new chapter of Jacob which is why I emphasize that a good name is very desirable in the book of Genesis um, 17 verse 5 um, God says to Abraham you shall no longer be called Abraham but your name shall be Abraham for I have made you a father of many multitude you know we can see that God changes Abraham's name and the, the same thing happens to Sarah as well where God says you know to Sarah your wife Sarai shall no longer be Sarai but her name shall be Sarah because she will also be mother of nations and I went straight home at first it didn't cost me much I can't remember because this was many years ago now um, and yeah I just went to home at first to you know um, they, here in, in South Africa it's called home affairs to change um, my name it took about 14 days and um, my new ID came and um, blessfully for me um, when I was changing my name I was at university so all my qualifications are in my new name so and a lot of people have now come to um, accepting to call me Tsekhofato so for those who do not who didn't know I was not born called Tsekhofato Tsekhofato is a name that the Lord gave me when I became serious in serving the Lord again we go to Proverbs 22 verse 1 a good name is to be chosen rather than great riches it's important to know what your name means because the more we call you the more we prophesy and you will definitely become that which that we speak of you with our words because words create words are powerful words are like a seed they go into the realm of the spirit and build up something that eventually become manifested in the natural realm i hope that you've enjoyed the story about how i changed my legal name to from sijava lady to Tehofato. thank you so much for joining me